a random sample of 36 measurements was selected from a population with unknown mean, mu, and non standard deviation sigma equal 80. The sample mean is 12. Then full stop. Calculate a 95% confidence interval for mu. First, let me write down given information. That is the first thing you should do. Why? You know now, you know only one uh, confidence interval, right? But later, you will know another one. Then two different things. So you have to recognize which one you are going to use, right? So here, uh, 36 is n, n equal 36, and sigma, with uh, standard deviation, population standard deviation is 18 and x bar equal to it. Right. So you see we know sigma. Sigma is known, right? If sigma is known, then you know the confidence interval x bar plus or minus z star sigma over root 10. So that is the confidence interval. Now, x bar, sigma, and n, all of them are given. But only one thing we need to find. What is that? Z star. How do we find the Z star? You know, go to the 95%. What is the 95 mean? 1 minus alpha equal 95% mean 0.95. Right? From this, you can find alpha equal 0.05. Okay? So, let me show you how to find the Z star. So, it is 95%. So, you can get 95 here. If it is 95, you know this part and this part is 0.05, right? 0.05. 0 0.05. But, you know, normal is symmetric, right? Symmetric, therefore, this should be 0 0.025. How did you get 0 0.025? 0 0.05 divided by 2, right? That is 0 0.025, right? Then, we will go to the Z table and find the value of z corresponding to point o25 okay we need point o25 so if you uh, look at the table very carefully you see point o25 is this here so the z value is 1.96 therefore you can write down here uh, negative yeah, negative 1.96 here positive 1.96 so this is the z star here and this is negative z star now you know z star also now let me uh, explain this in different way that mean first i will find the margin of error what is the margin of error mean? That is the maximum error, right? That is the maximum error. Margin, margin of error or maximum error. Right. This equal 1. It is z star sigma over root 10. Therefore, we can plug the number. Z star is 1.96 and sigma is 18 and n is 36 square root. Okay? So then, this become what? This is, you see this 6, 3, 18, 28, and 5.88. Yes, it is 5.88. That is the margin of error or maximum error. Understood that part? Good. If you know the margin, margin of error or maximum error, then how do we find the, what we call confidence interval, 
x bar minus a plus uh, gamma x bar plus a. So x bar is 12 minus 5.88 gamma 12 plus 5.88. So then the final answer is 6.12 gamma 17.88. So this is the confidence interval. Understood? Any questions? Then we go with this. Suppose that we are doing a research study of how many retrieved records users get from a particular online bibliographic database on a particular set of questions from one sample. We know that sample mean is 24. Okay, what is the sample mean in notation? It is x bar, right? It is x bar. x bar equal 24. And n. n also given sample size, it is 100. And also population standard deviation is given, it is 12.1. Yes. So, at the last time, uh, we did for the 95%, so you know how to find the Z star, right, already for the 95%. So, let me change this one. Instead of 95, we will find the confidence interval for 80%, right, for 80%. Understood? For 80%, right? So, 80% confidence interval on mu. Right. Then how do we do that? Now you know confidence interval is x bar plus or minus e. So where e is uh, z star sigma over root n. That is the margin of error again. So we need to find the z star because we know the rest of thing, right? So, Z star for the 80%. Then how do we find the Z star for the 80%? So, you know, this should be 80% mean point 80. So, then this part and this part is what? That is point 0.2, right? How do you get point 0.2? 1 minus point 0.8, which is point 0.2, okay? But again, because of symmetry, you can find this area 0.2 divided by 1, which is 0.1. Okay? Then we need to find the Z star. This is the negative Z star. And this is Z star. So we need to find the Z value corresponding to 0.1. Go to the Z table and check 0.1. You see... Point 0.1 should be in between this, but the closest one is this one, right? This is the closest one. Understand that? That is the closest one. Therefore, we can get the Z value for that number, negative 1.28. Negative 1.28. So, here negative 1.28, then this is 1.28. Understood? Any questions? Right. So then, let me find the E, which is ma uh, maximum error or margin of error. So Z star equal 1.28 and sigma equal 12.1 and N equal 100 divided by uh, square root of 100, right? So simplify this one, then you will get one point. 5488. If these numbers are wrong, please let me know. 1.588. Yes, now you know margin of error. Right? Or maximum. Yes. Exactly. Good question. Actually, here we always use positive number. So now you know this one. Therefore, our confidence interval is, for this case, x bar is 24 minus 1.5488.
and 24 plus 1.5488 right so then this is 22.4512 and 24.5488 so that is the confidence interval actually this is 80 percent uh, confidence level right 80% confidence level okay 1 minus alpha is 80% okay again I, I didn't explain that over here that mean 1 minus alpha equal 80% mean 0 0.8 so alpha equal 0 0.2 so understand this because you need this one for the next step any questions if not uh, let me go to the second one next one so this number four in an article exploring blood serum levels of vitamins and lung cancer risk the mean serum level of vitamin e in the control group was 11.9 what is the milligram liter right per liter so what is the uh, control group was in you know, a mean of the control group was 11.9. What is 11.9? It is a control group mean that is a sample, right? Therefore, mean of the uh, sample is x bar. So x bar equal 4. Point, sorry, it is not 4. Point, it is 11.9. 11 11.9. 11 there were 196 patients. Okay. 196 is the sample size then. Please write down like this so then you will understand which one you are going to use. Then assume that the standard deviation is sigma. Yes, population standard deviation is 4.30. Right. Then find the 95% confidence interval. Yes, you know that mean 1 minus alpha equal point. 9.5 then alpha equal 0.05 you know how to find the uh, z star because we need z star i explained before therefore i am not going to explain again so i will just draw this one so you know this is the 95 here 0.95 so z star here negative z star 1.96 and here 1.96 Nine six. It is a positive, right? So then part A is asking find the confidence interval, right? Then you know we sigma is given or sigma is not, right? If sigma is not, you know what the confidence interval is. It is x bar uh, plus or minus. You can write down e. So then you. Define the E, E equals Z star sigma over root 10. Okay? Right. Now, let me write down the, uh, find the margin of error, which is E. Z star equal 1.96, then sigma, sigma equal 4.30, divided by N, N equal 196, but square root. Okay? So then you can find this, it is point six or two. That is point six or two. Okay, that is the margin of error. Now you know margin of error, so you can find a confidence interval. X bar is eleven point nine minus point six or two, comma eleven point nine plus point six or two. Okay, so then subtract then, you can get 11.298, then next one is 12.5 or 2. So this is the confidence interval and 95% confidence level. Okay, any questions? So it's the same thing, right? Right, then go to the B. If you wanted to estimate the mean serum level of vitamin E with 90% confidence 
and a margin of error of no more than 0.25 mg per liter, how large a sample would you need? Actually, I explained this type of problem last time. So therefore, if anybody can give me the correct answer, I will give 50 points. And before I go to that problem, let me explain the meaning of this interval, how to explain, because you will need that one for the test. So this meaning, let me explain that we are, we are 95% confident, confident that the mean serum level of vitamin E in the all, okay, all, all cancer pre pre patients is between 11.3 and 12.5. Understood that? So that is the meaning, okay? Uh, we are 95% confident. Good. Now actually, uh, again go back to the B. Go back to the B. So B is asking sample size. Right, B is asking sample size. So how do we find the sample size? Yes, let me first uh, think about the information we have or given information. What do we know? We know about margin of error, right? You see here, margin of error is 0.25, right? So, we can write the equation for the margin of error. E equal Z is the sigma over root 10. So that is the equation for the margin of error. Why do I use this equation? Because margin of error is given. Margin of error is given. Okay. So now, what is the margin of error? Point two five. What is the Z star? Ah, they are asking 90%. 90%, right? 90%. So, they are asking 90%. Let me explain this one. Make sure this is not 0.5. This is 90. Therefore, this is 0.1 divided by 2, which is 0.05, right? That is 0.05. Understood that? Okay, if it is 0.05, what is the z value? Z is star here. If you go to back to the table, you will see it is 1.645 and 1.645 positive. Let me show you 0 0.05. If you go back to the table, 0 0.05 is, where is that? Yes, you see that 0 0.05 should be in between these two, right? In between these two numbers. That is a point 0.5, right? But thing is, here point 0.05, here point 0.95, definitely that number, we are looking for what is point 0.05, point 0.05 must be in between that, definitely in the middle value. Understand that? Middle value. Therefore, you can use this number only for the test. Is it okay? It is okay with me. This is one negative 1.64 or you can use negative 1.65. But the, for the homework, sampling plus, I think they, you have to get the, what we call average. Average, add them together, divide up by two, that is the number 1.645. Understood that? So that's why I use 1.645 here. Right. Then Z star we know 1.645 and sigma 
it is 4.3 and n is the one we are looking for understood that right then factorial sorry <laughs> square root of n equal 1.645 times 4.3 divided by 0.25 understand up to this it is a math calculation right okay so now uh, how do we find the n you know n equal 1.645 time 4.3 divided by 0.25 the power 2 so you can calculate this one n equal 800.55 can you leave answer in this format or with these numbers no why n is the sample size okay therefore it, it must be with only whole numbers not decimals right therefore we always we always uh, round up so n equal 801 it doesn't matter what the number is here even you had 800 point over it still be round up understand that n equal 801 so that is the sample size we need to satisfy the part b any questions Let me go to the next one. You want to rent an unfinished one bedroom apartment next year. The mean monthly rent for a random sample of 60 apartments advertised a website is the website is 1000. Right. So 60 is N. N is the 60 apartments and on the website it is the average is X uh, thousand therefore x bar is thousand and population standard deviation is given 200 got it right then asking a 95 confidence interval yes it mean 1 minus alpha equal 0 0.95 and alpha equal 0 0.05 so then we can find the z star do the normal curve and this is 0.95 then you know this is 0.05 divided by 2 that is 0.025 so you already know this z star it is negative 1.96 here 1.96 here positive right so we know everything so then we can find x bar plus or minus sigma is known therefore z is term and sigma over root n so x bar is thousand minus z is term is 1.96 sigma 200 divided by root n n is 60 square root comma thousand plus 1.96 200 divided by 60 square root so you can simplify this 1000 minus 1.96 times 200 divided by root 60 that is what 50.61 is it right 1000 plus 50.61 now you can simplify this 949.39 comma 1050.61 that is the confidence interval now i am asking one question what is the margin of error here what is the margin of error? Tell me. You already know it. You already see it. What is the margin of error? 50.61. Got it? That is the margin of error. Okay? You should know that type of uh, answer for that type of questions. Okay? For the test. I mean, 
How do we find the modulo of error? How do we find the... Yes, for the next test, most probably, I think 95% sure this type of problem. They have to understand. So I cannot change this method. The same method, the same is test, but only thing is information. That is the difference. Right? So therefore, if you know how to deal with this, you can do your test question very easy. Right? Ready? How large a sample of one bedroom apartments above would be needed to estimate the population mean within plus or minus fifty dollar with ninety percent confidence? Ah, what is the meaning of plus or minus? Yes, okay. It is a margin of error. You see that mean x bar here. They say here plus. 50 here minus 50. So, right? It is 50, okay? It is 50, this one. Minus 50. So, that is what? That is the margin of error, right? According to this, part B, mu should be somewhere here. Okay? Right. Now, we know the margin of error, and they are asking again, how large? N. So, we know E equal, this is Z star, because sigma is known, sigma over root 10. So let me uh, get the root 10 here in this side, then Z star sigma over E. So that is the equation, but actually for the N, so this equals Z star sigma over E, the power 2. Okay, that is the n. So you can keep this equation in mind if you need. So you can, if you can memorize, so you can use this one. Okay, just write the this one and plug the numbers. That's it. Understood that? Right. So then we can write, uh, find the n equals z star. What is the z star here? Okay, it is 90%, right? Now 90%. So we need to check for the 90%. Here again, point 0.9, therefore this should be what? Point, Haley, what is that? Point, not 5, it is oh, 0.5, right? Please make sure I know even sometimes I also think it is point 0.5, okay? I mean, we get sometimes misunderstand, okay? Uh, you know, therefore please understand that it is point 0.05. So then you know how to find the Z star, it is 1.6. For 5, this is 1.6 for 5 positive. Right. Then we know 1.6 for 5 and times sigma. Sigma equal what? Here, 200. Okay. Divided by E, E equal 0.5. And second power. So then, you can simplify this. That is 43.3. Therefore, what is the n? n equal 44. Always round up. Always round up. n equal 44. Understood that? Any questions? Okay, good. Can I move this? Uh, again, because you need that. The continuous interval was 9 for 9.39 10 50.61 that is the confidence interval right so then what is the meaning of this we are 95 percent confident that the interval What is the interval? 949.39, 1050.61 covers the true mean, mean monthly rent of 
listed on the website. What is the true mean? That is what? Actual mean. Actual mean is what? Population mean. Okay, that's the meaning of that. True mean is population mean. Okay. Okay, now I think you can do the rest. Do the same thing, okay? Because we don't have time to do everything, but I, I guess you can understand now very clearly. But the same mistakes, like you go home, like you go dorm, right? The same part. Right. Uh, for this one, answer is 23.22. 23.58 so we can say we are 95 percent confident that the interval twenty-three point two two twenty-three point five eight includes the true mean true mean of this right in mean true mean means population mean so please again go to the other rest of the problems and uh, you will understand them very well uh, computer center right uh, and understand the concept so If you see the last two problems, I think this one, you see you have answer, okay? You see, because you need this, we are 95 confident. So we are 95 confident. So that is the main thing you should know how to run. The rest is you can change it, right? It's in your own work. But the thing is here, we are 95 confident. So you see the difference between these two, check it. So then you will understand, okay? Right. So we are done with this chapter. Uh, what else I need to explain here? I explain. Yes, it's still actually you need to understand. Again, suppose uh, confidence interval is given, then you should know how to find the x bar and how to find the margin of error. You know that mean uh, con uh, maximum error, right? Understand? And width of the interval. It is the width of the interval, right? So you should know how to do that. And also, I forgot to tell you something. Right. Look at here. Uh, I say this. You know this one. X bar minus Z star sigma over root 10. And X bar plus Z star sigma over root 10. Right. I will write down two intervals. Okay, one is two comma four. Next one is one comma uh, eight. Right? If we draw this one, this is two, this is four. Next one is this is one, this is eight. Understood that? So what has happened? What are the what main difference of these two is what? You see the width, width of the interval, right? What is the width mean? From here to here, distance, right? And here to here. Okay. Now, how do we get wider interval? Or how do we make this short? Or how do we make this bigger? What are the factors? You see, if you check this one very carefully x bar should be the same for the sample right we cannot change it can we no x bar for the sample it is the same sigma is always same right so we can change this one and this one sample size why think about this I write down this one. I say, uh, I say this one, okay? Two, three minus one 
3 plus 1. Okay, one example. That is 3 minus 1, 2, and this is 4. And I can say 3 minus 2, 3 plus 2. What is that? That is 3 minus 2, 1, and 3 plus 2, 5. Understand? Okay. Now you see when you increase this value or this value increase, right? When you increase, what happened to the interval? Interval is getting bigger. Yes? Interval is getting bigger. That means if we need a bigger interval, what we should do? We need to increase this part. We need to increase this part. As I mentioned before, this is a constant for the pop population. We cannot change it. The only thing is we have only two, we have this and this. Okay. Now I am asking this question, you need to find that uh, answer for those questions, but I will explain one. If I uh, increase n, n increases. When you increase s, what will happen to the whole thing? Whole thing decreases. Understood that? Whole thing decreases, right? When you increase n, then whole thing go down. Understood? Right. Therefore, go down, then actually what will happen to the interval? Interval, see, go down this way. Interval getting smaller, smaller. Understood, right? Okay. Similarly, now think about this. What do you need to do? In May, which one is the bigger? 95 or 99? Which one is the bigger interval? Think about that. Which one? And you go to the Z table, check that. Actually, I can say it is 99. But why? You are supposed 99 confident, right? So think about this. I throw this one through the window and through the door. Which one more confidence to me? This. Why it is bigger? Get him bigger. Understood that? I can say 99% sure for this one, but that is 95%. Understood that? Yes. So understand that concept too, okay?